Hello, everyone. Welcome to watching lesson 15 of Super Kit for Arduino Serials video tutorial. How to use Rotary encoder. Let's see the phenomenon first. Next, let's see the components to be used in this experiment. Then found the UO board, rotary encoder, jumper rails, and a USB cable. Let's see the principle of this experiment. There are two main types of rotary encoder, absolute and incremental. Here we use incremental encoder. An incremental encoder is a rotary sensor to turn rotational displacement into a series of digital pulse signals, which are then used to control the angular displacement. It generates two-phase square waves whose phase difference is 80 degrees. Usually the two-phase square waves are called channel A and channel B. It's difficult to distinguish left turn and right turn during SCM programming. However, when using an oscilloscope to observe the left turn and right turn of a switch, you will find that a phase difference exists between the signals of the two output pins. The phase difference is shown as follows. When channel A that CLK is high, if channel B that DT is high, the switch rotates clockwise. If channel B is low, the switch definitely rotates counterclockwise. As a result, if channel A is high, you can judge whether the rotary encoder turns left or right as long as you load the state of the channel B. That's all for the principle. We start building the kit. Select pin CLK to pin 2 of the board. Select pin DT to pin 3 of the board. Select pin SW to pin 4 of the board. Select its positive pole to power source and GND to ground. We start programming. Open IDE. Select pin CLK to pin 2 of the board. Select pin DT to pin 3 of the board. Select pin SW to pin 4 of the board. Define a variable encoder well to store the value of the rotary encoder. Define a static variable old A and initialize it as 1, used to store the state of previous paths from channel A. Then define a static variable old B used to store the state of previous paths from channel B. Set pin 2 and 3 as input. Set pin 4 as input and configure it as pull up. Initialize the serial port. Change is used to store the state of the rotary encoder. When rotating clockwise, it's 1. When counterclockwise, it's negative 1. If you press the switch, the value of the rotary encoder will be zero. If channel A or B changes and channel A falls, the variable result stores the state of the rotary encoder. When channel A falls and channel B follows, it means the rotary encoder rotates clockwise. Result is one. Otherwise, counterclockwise. Result is negative 1. That's all for the code. Compare and run. If there are no errors, we download the program to the board. Open the serial monitor. Here we can see if you rotate the rotary encoder clockwise, the value printed on the screen gets bigger. If counterclockwise, it gets smaller. Thank you for watching. See you next time.